Hey, what's up everybody? Cody back with another Prototech Tip. And today, we're gonna to talk about choosing the right fastening solution for your next sheet metal design project. So in the realm of sheet metal design projects, the longevity and integrity of the final manufactured product largely depends on the fastening solutions. Engineers often have to decide between using traditional rivets, welding, or utilizing self-clinching fasteners, each offering unique benefits and potential drawbacks to your final design. Understanding their differences in terms of strength, material, compatibility, and maintainability can greatly influence the success of your design project. So when contrasting rivets and self-clinching fasteners, it's essential to evaluate how they contribute to the overall assembly's strength and durability. Rivets will provide a reliable solution for fastening multiple pieces of sheet metal parts together. They are also widely regarded for their sheer resilience under high tensile loads. However, they're not as versatile as self-clinching fasteners when it comes to long-term strength and durability for enclosures that will require frequent disassembly and reassembly, making them less ideal for applications that require regular maintenance. Self-clinching fasteners also offer exceptional load-bearing capabilities and resistance to loosening. They're also designed to be flushed with the material surface, contributing to a sleeker and more streamlined look. Self-clinching fasteners, unlike rivets, are great for applications that require regular maintenance. When comparing both rivets and self-clinching fasteners, each fastener type exhibits different levels of compatibility with different sheet metal materials, which will also influence the integrity of the fastened parts. Rivets, however, are versatile and can be used with a broad range of materials, but whether you're dealing with aluminum, stainless steel, or even some plastics, rivets can often be the go-to choice. They're particularly handy when the materials that need to be fastened are different from one another, or when working with more flexible metals or plastics. It's important to note that rivets can be installed flush by using flat rivets that are designed to insert into countersunk holes. However, there are rivet types that also appear raised from the metal as well. Self-clinching fasteners thrive in an environment where uniformity in material is present. They work best with metals that allow for the displacing of material around the fasteners to secure it in place. While self-clinching fasteners may be well suited for metals like aluminum and stainless steel, they may not be the best choice for much harder materials. Both rivets and self-clinching fasteners are good options for use in very thin metals too. Finally, let's compare these two options when thinking about an enclosure that will require frequent maintenance where there's removal and replacement of parts that are fastened together. With rivets, once they are installed, they are designed to stay put. To remove them, you must typically drill them out, which can compromise the integrity of the metal and may lead to damage. Uh, this also makes rivets less desirable for projects where components may need to be replaced or regularly serviced. With self-clinching fasteners, once installed, allow for easier disassembly provided that the correct tools are used. The fasteners can be unscrewed and serviced and reassembled, allowing for replacements or regular maintenance without significant metal damage and frustration. So to conclude, deciding between rivets and self-clinching fasteners narrows down to specific project requirements and constraints. Factors such as the need for long-term durability, maintenance, material types, and even aesthetic considerations. Regardless of your choice, it's important to understand how each fastening solution can affect your sheet metal design project's outcome. However, please keep in mind we also offer cold metal transfer welding as another form of fastening parts together. We have multiple tech tips comparing welding with fasteners and rivets to really help you understand the best possible solution for your specific application. That's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to download our comprehensive sheet metal design guide to further enhance your manufacturing knowledge. The link will be in the description below. Thanks, and see you next week.